BBBsGive.org is proud of its network of accredited charities stepping up to the plate during this pandemic. I'm joined today by Dr. Tessie Martin, President and CEO, Plan International USA. How is Plan International USA helping girls and their families during the outbreak? We learned a lot during the Ebola response. Uh, and what we're focusing right now is on several things. First of all, hygiene and sanitation products, disinfectant, soap. Secondly, complementary messaging around how to use those products to keep yourself safe as necessary for some of the organizations that are responding with us, personal protective equipment, um, social distancing uh, messages, and for families that are stressed economically because this affects girls in particular who might be more likely to be trafficked uh, or uh, married early, we're also providing cash transfers. This crisis is truly global and affects all of us in one way or another. Are there any communities that you work with that are particularly hard hit by the crisis? Are the I would think one of the most vulnerable sets of uh, people are displaced persons. Before the pandemic, the UN estimated there were se over 17 million forcibly displaced persons around the world, 26 million of them refugees, people that are not even in their country. They're now living, many of them, in crowded conditions, uh, making social distancing very difficult. So we are very much targeting refugee and displaced persons communities around the world. In a recent survey, we found that most charities are concerned about maintaining revenue in 2020. Do you foresee any particular challenges in raising funds in 2020? Well, we are very blessed with donors that are pretty diverse, a very diverse group of donors that continue to give generously even in these hard economic times. We have, however, seen a drop off in our, uh, in our acquisition of child sponsors. Uh, this is a recurring gift and we mostly acquire it through face to face, which is a very difficult channel to keep up during a pandemic and social distancing. We are experimenting with other channels and we're experimenting with other acquisition approaches. We did a very successful fundraiser, virtual fundraiser last night with about um, 100 donors. So that went well. In a recent donor survey, we found that 30% of them intend to give more. In fact, 48% of millennials and 61% of Gen Zers want to give more in 2020. For people who can and want to help, what is the best way to support your efforts? Thanks for the great question. Obviously, for anybody that can and wants to give, please go to www.planusa.org slash COVID-19. But even if you can't give, go to our website, get engaged, see what we're doing, share whatever you think is interesting in social media. And if you have high schoolers at home, here's one other thing that you can look at. We are running the Youth Leadership Academy. We usually do it in person in Washington, D.C. We're doing it virtually this year. It is sponsored by The Body Shop and is focused on giving young people, high schoolers, the skills to advocate for those issues for which they're very passionate. Is there something you wish the donating public would better understand about the impact of the COVID-19 outbreak on the charitable sector? Art, this is an unprecedented global emergency. Every part of the world is being affected at the same time. In these times of great economic stress in our country, it is very easy to just get focused on what is happening at home. The importance of looking outside has never been greater until all of us are safe, no one is. So while things here are imminent and important, it is also important and urgent to continue to focus on what we can do to keep everyone safe around the world. And this is the work of PLAN. Thanks for sharing your insights and for your great work. COVID-19 reminds us of our collective interdependence and vulnerability. BBBsGive.org encourages you to stay close to the charities that you care about. 
This is a critical time for charities in our sector. And to find organizations that you can trust, go to give.org.